Japan approves abortion pill for the first time. Here's a summary of the article. The abortion pill is to become available in Japan for the first time after the health ministry approved a drug used to terminate early stage pregnancies. Abortion is legal in Japan up to 22 weeks, but consent is usually required from a spouse or partner, and until now a surgical procedure had been the only option. Similar medication is available in many countries, including France, which first approved the abortion pill in 1988, and the US, where it has been available since 2000. The national broadcaster NHK said the total cost of the abortion pill and a medical consultation would be around 100,000 yen. The Supreme Court has temporarily preserved access to the widely used abortion drug, freezing rulings by lower courts that would have banned or severely restricted its availability. Campaigners in Japan are also pushing for better access to the morning after pill. Emergency contraception cannot be bought in Japan without a doctor's approval. This post received a score of 19,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Wait, they didn't have access to abortion pills this whole time and their population is still collapsing? Goddamn Japanese people really do have no time for anything other than work. Had a boss tell me, we are falling behind world powers like Japan and China because we don't work as hard as they do? Let's hope it stays that way, ex boss. Let me guess, he was the type of boss who just sat around while the employees worked. A team lead recently told our boss that it's kind of a bad look of him working from home the entire time when we can't work remotely at all. His retort was that he's trying his best to come in twice a week, which he can't even make that happen lol. What an absolute tool, LMAO. I thought that was the Ubisoft logo at first glance. Don't think you'll need to worry about birth control methods. Dot dot dot. I saw it too. An IRL friend was telling me that the government of Japan would soon be implementing draconian measures in order to forcibly increase the birth rate. Just one more tally in the column of Americans don't know shit about Japan. Nah. They'll just kick the issue down the road like we do with our issues. Their birth rates are dwindling and the government can't convince them to have sex. Work life balance is horrid, but there is probably an argument for women not wanting to get accidentally prego. So, government decides to give them an easier out. So, people that are on the edge about baby making are more at ease, and hopefully, once they do get prego, they decide to keep it. Take the absolute certainty of commitment away, and more people are likely to commit by accident, I suppose. Great perspective. When I read the headlines, I thought it was weird they'd approve this, but your reasoning sort of explains it. Why wasn't it legal earlier? Do they have some type of cultural conservatism on this issue, or is it a birth rate thing? Japanese abortion law requires that the woman visit a licensed doctor to ensure that whatever medical procedure is carried out is done competently and safely. Now, specifically regarding the abortion pill, even if it is approved for use in Japan, it still requires a doctor to prescribe it. So the medical association, while losing some income from the reduction in surgical abortions, will likely see a bump in clinic visits and prescription requests that will cover at least some of the reduction. For those people who do not understand, the article is only talking about access to the abortion pill. Here is the abortion statistics for 2016 to 2021. That's roughly 120,000 to 170,000 abortions per year. This video was automatically created by Reddit to Speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes. And any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.